fruit of activities and essential subject from the IPD. All material activities involve actions and reactions in the three modes of material nature. They are meant for fruit of results, which cause bondage in the material world. The Vedas deal mostly with fruit of activities to gradually elevate the general public from the field of sense gratification to a position on the transcendental plane. Arjuna, as a student and friend of Lord Krishna, is advised to raise himself to the transcendental position of Vedanta philosophy where, in the beginning, there is Brahma GS or questions on the supreme transcendence. All the living entities who are in the material world are struggling very hard for existence. For them the Lord, after creation of the material world, gave the Vedic wisdom advising how to live and get rid of the material entanglement. Srila Prabhupada's books, lectures, conversations and letters offer a comprehensive presentation of this essential subject as seen in the Vinikot's Fruit of Activities category. An introduction from his books is given below in the following eight quotes. Quotes from Srila Prabhupada's books The Karmakaya portion stresses the execution of Fruit of Activities. But ultimately it is advised that one abandon both karma ka and jaina ka, speculative knowledge, and accept only upsan ka or bhakti ka. One cannot attain love of Godhead by executing karma ka or jaina ka. Kaitanya Karatam Ta, Madhya LL 9.263 The influence of the modes of nature is very strong. The living entity entangled in different types of fruit of activity is like a silkworm trapped in a cocoon. Getting free is very difficult unless he is helped by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Srimad Bhagavatam 6.1.52 The indestructible, transcendental living entity is called Brahman, and his eternal nature is called Aditma, the Self. Action pertaining to the development of the material bodies of the living entities is called Karma, or Fruit of Activities. Bhagavad GT 8.3 The impersonalist ceases fruit of activities out of fear, so that the resultant action may not be a stumbling block on the path of self-realization, but the personalist knows rightly his position as the eternal servitor of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore he engages himself in the activities of Krishna Consciousness. Bhagavad GT 4.18 Unless the desire to enjoy family life is completely burned out, it grows up again and again. Even though camphor may be removed from a pot, the pot nonetheless retains the aroma of camphor. As long as the seeds of desire are not destroyed, fruit of activities are not destroyed. Srimad Bhagavatam 5.14 For a living entity who unknowingly falls in this river is submerged in its waves, and since the current is swifter near the banks of the river, he is unable to get out. What will be the benefit of performing fruit of activities in that river of MY? Srimad Bhagavatam 6.5 16. If one performs activities for the satisfaction of the Supreme Personality, the Yaya his work does not produce reactions, whereas Karmas, who act for themselves, are bound by the reactions of their work. A liberated person, therefore, does not think about whatever he has ignorantly done in the past. Instead, he acts in such a way that he will not produce another body by fruit of activities. Srimad Bhagavatam 5.1 16. A person who accepts the path of devotional service is not bereft of the results derived from studying the Vedas, performing sacrifices, undergoing austerities, giving charity or pursuing philosophical and fruitive activities. Simply by performing devotional service, he attains all these, and at the end he reaches the supreme eternal abode. Bhagavad GT 8.28